Hello everybody, here's the pre-market trade of the day and it was the last trading day in this month, the February is over and good news, our last pre-market trade of the day in February made profit again, the analyze was perfect from um, 24 hours ago, um, I made the video here and published it here as we were here and we were on the Norwegian Krone against the Swedish Krone, um, a, a European currency and I told you in my video, in my pre-market video, that we had a long sideways move for the last days on this pair and I expect today that this pair will have a reaction, will have a big move and exactly this happened, you can see after uh, 30 minutes after the London session began, we had this big drop here and I told you in my video I want to ignore all these levels here because from the sideways move we have to go deeper and we had here um, in my pre-market video the trend line around here and this was the uh, reason um, I selected here this price action zone, this price action zone and this price action zone. The last two were in uh, very close or in the um, demand level from the hypnotic software and this first level we marked were short before the demand level of the hypnotic uh, software and we had here our um, order block, um, the normal green line and the light green line for the normal and strong buy order blocks here and exactly on this level you can see the bounce happened exactly on our order block line in this case. The order block line we marked is our zone and it was the perfect entry for us to get into this trade today. I'm very happy that I could provide you again such a, a good trade here and this brings us for the February and um, I began not uh, at the 1st of February, I think it was um, some days later. And we have now a 90% win rate for our pre-market trades of the day and it's only one pair every day. So um, remember uh, this and if you trade more pairs by your own you have ox uh, um, more winners uh, of course but with the pre-market trades of the day I want to show you how to trade the order blocks and that you not trade blindly every line. You have to analyze the chart, the market structure, the trend lines and then you decide um, which order blocks to trade and if you have the hypnotic software then you have a very good um, um, software you can you can combine uh, with the order blocks and they play very good together these two softwares. So um, I uh, was um, here in this trade um, I had here a saw this, that we have this big down move and I placed in this case here pending order because I um, had to jump um, out of the office for a, a one hour and so I placed it exactly on the green line um, that I can catch this uh, trade because after this big drop it was very obvious that we will get here a, a reaction on our um, price action zone and I was exactly here then in the trade but um, I had um, secured my trade here I was a little bit too early um, here I closed 90% of my trade and secured it with a break even um, stop loss. You can see um, the break even stop loss did hold here. It was not in danger. It came here a little bit back, but uh, it hold. But then with the trailer begin here to trail, I was with the uh, last 10% of my trade then here out around this area here. Um, and then uh, this big move uh, came again. So I was not in this big move then. Um, a little bit too early um, I closed uh, this of course but I was not on the computer every time and I set a target here for my um, or set a trailer here that um, I um, don't come into um, minus or lose here the profit. Um, it's it's always the same we can't normally not um, grab out a completely move of uh, such a trade sometimes it uh, we will um, catch the complete move but um, I'm always ho happy again um, if uh, analyze works out and gives such a nice trade we have here maybe if you have traded it you were completely in this trade I don't know if you uh, stayed longer than me in this trade 
congratulations then you made more pips here this pair um, is very interesting uh, because you have to trade it with a bigger lot size and i can show you this um, here um, let's do it here this is my small account i use normally for experiments here you can see there are 200 euros in it on a, it's a real account and if i um, do the trade i had we had here our buy entry exactly on uh, this line here <clears throat> and i placed my stop loss with metagrid let's see it was the market structure here exactly i placed it here uh, uh, below this market structure and below here our second trend line and you can see the audio auto calculation from the upcoming metagrid it's the version 1.7 which will come out in march which auto calculates um, the correct um, lot size and i have a risk of two percent this means if the price hits my stop loss i lose two percent of my account balance so around four euros here and you can see with a, a risk of two percent to lose four euros i have to trade this pair or can to trade this pair with 21 um, mini lots here and it's a very high lot for this um, small account because of this exotic pair you can trade this or have to trade it with a bigger lot size if you trade this with one micro lot you will um, win nothing here and this is very good that we have here this auto calculation and you see even with this big lot size i only would lose here four euro four, four euros if it hits my stop loss and on my um, big real account where i had traded this pair i used one standard lot in this case and even one standard lot is not that much for um, this exotic pair here i only want to show you this because if we come now to the result um, of my trades you see here um, that I normally I show you the micro lot, the mini lot and the standard lot in um, what it had made if you use these lot sizes. But um, in this case with this pair um, I show you the 50, um, the standard lot and the two standard lots here in this case um, that you can see what it made because uh, as I showed you in the uh, chart, it makes no sense this to trade with a micro lot or so. Um, um, so, and you can see I had made with the first part 11 pips on this pair, this exotic pair. This was where I then secured my 90% and the last um, portion of my trade made then 18 pips. And this um, is the pip value here for a mini lot I marked here. And if we then look on our um, result, if we traded it with, with um, the 0 0.50 um, lots, then this had give uh, 5 euro 20 for the first part with a standard lot, which I traded on my uh, bigger uh, life account. It made 10 euros uh, 45. And the part two, um, which uh, made 18 pips if you traded it with uh, 0 0.5 it made 8 euro 5, 5 and 17 euro and uh, 34 euros um, that you can see what uh, different lot size had given you that you have uh, id what this trade was worth and you here can you see the total if you um, put all together here you can see this is the result um, depends on the lot size um, you used and then we have the complete result for our trade of the day we had here on the knock sack on this pair so i hope you had the chance to trade it too it was again a nice trade i hope i can make over the weekend the list for the complete february that we can see how many money uh, we uh, we made with and i will make it again with uh, uh, lot sizes here that you can see um, depending on which lot size we use how many money we made in february because every trader has a different balance uh, balance on on his account and uh, trades this with different lot sizes and then you can see um, if you traded it with a small account what um, the value of my pre-market trades were or if you traded it with a bigger account what you could could make and i can tell you if you have a have a bigger account and you traded this with a standard lot for example we made several thousand euros um, on the pre-market trades of the day 
and um, on a normal account um, it's several hundred euros we made with the pre-market trades of the day in February and I hope we can make the same in March. Um, I will do every day the pre-market trade of the day for you for free and you can follow it and if you have any questions about the order blocks and my analyze you can always comment in the video uh, below the video or write to support at metagrid.com support at metagrid.com and then we jump now to the first trade of the new month the first pre-market trade of march so and this is the first pair for um, january we are on the euro against the polish sloty very nice pair the euro and i don't want the dollar or the pound in it um, i like it if i have a major currency with a smaller currency i like this much more as i have two major currencies in a pair so um, let's see and you can see this pair is clear in a down move uh, if i make the chart smaller you can see a strong down move here on this uh, pair and um, i want uh, more or less to sell this uh, pair further i think it could go uh, more down um, i want to be more a seller on this uh, pair at the moment as a buyer and um, what i would like to see if we get a reversal and then we can sell again and um, in this case i don't have the hypnotic supply and demand zones today on my chart because Sarit, who is the developer of the supply and demand uh, zone software, has not provide, provided yet the March license code. Um, and as I don't have it at the moment, I can't use uh, the software on my chart, but I think he will provide it uh, during the next hours um, if he is awake. Um, so we have to do it without supply and demand in this case. Um, I think um, if we look here, um, here it was a starting point of this um, next drop. It dropped, of course, from here, then it stopped a little bit. And then after some kind of accumulation, then we get here the next drop. And so this is here, of course, a supply zone here on this area. Um, if we mark it here, um, even if we have not the software at the moment, but here we have a supply zone based on the rules. And we have close uh, to this zone here, um, this um, sell order block here. We have the strong sell order block and the normal order block close together. We like this. And so I want to uh, come here into a trade and I would uh, mark this complete here as a zone. Um, if we uh, take the supply zone in it, you can see here if we use the uh, candles here with it um, then we have this complete zone here for for trading um, including of course this here it do, does not show it at the moment um, but this uh, whole area here i want to trade let's check if we can make it happen that it here is blue too so now this is our zone where i want to sell this pair if it happens that the price will go up again this would be a perfect zone for uh, for selling again if we get a reversal here um, i would like this here um, it's also possible if uh, it, it makes a bigger move um, on friday that we could sell here so if price uh, should jump here through in this case and we came over here this last high where um, of course stop losses could be placed to catch here if i um, look as a market maker on this pair um, i were interested to catch here stop losses then it's also possible that we come to this area here for selling so i mark this too in case that price cuts here through and gives us not a price action you know this is a price action zone um, here <clears throat> is would also be possible in my eyes to uh, place a pending order maybe um, because i think if price really should come up here then we should see here a reaction so this is a pending sell opportunity too we don't have to look here for price action only but um, if we get here the price action and here uh, come into a trade i would here delete the pending uh, order only in case that we cut completely through then here you can use the pending order but uh, delete it if price already reacted here on or reacts here on this zone 
Um, for buying, um, it's difficult. We have at the moment a higher spread or this pair. And you can see our trend line cuts here on this um, very nice buy order block. And if we look on price and at market structure, you can see we had here a very nice support zone. If price comes here back again, um, this could react here as support. And if we mark this here, this was this market structure high here. Um, which was um, resistance and then price jumped over and it became now support and you can see this support is on the same place exactly as um, this buy order block here this very nice or uh, buy order block and maybe um, during the Asia session it comes here in and reacts and gives us a buy opportunity but spread is too high so we can't use it um, in case that we get here reaction in the um, London session at the beginning of the London session that maybe price uh, cuts, uh, cuts, uh, gets here down and then begins um, to come up again and gives us price action in form of a pin bar for example or a big engulfing candle we can try to jump in here for a buy trade um, I don't mark it at the moment um, um, only remember it now during the Asia session if it happens that we get here direction we can't do anything because of the too high spread if we can here uh, jump into a buy trade during the beginning of the London session um, we should try it here um, for a buy opportunity maybe with a lower risk and of course this here is also a nice place the trend line cuts here our order block but from the time if we see when the cut happens it's uh, at the beginning of the New York session so um, if price comes before the New York session or during the New York session here in this area and gives us price action we could try it I mark it here from the beginning of the American session and I would um, uh, we have to see maybe uh, if the London session starts that we get a false move here down and then uh, the reversal happens I'm not sure about this I'm I see this pair more in a down move uh, at the moment and I, I would like it more if we come here in a sell trade as in a buy trade if we miss a buy trade okay we can't do nothing but um, I would like more to sell this pair as to buy because um, hard to say how much buy reaction we here will get but if we see good price action of course we can try it and um, sometimes we have to risk something and not have not too much fear here we will see if we get some kind of price action during the London session here in this um, area uh, if the spread is then to normal again and maybe we see here some opportunities to sell tomorrow hard to say at the moment what this pair will do further we can't predict the market I don't want to predict the market the only thing I want to do is a, make a trade plan and this is our trade plan for this day if price comes in the zones we, we have our plan then we try to come into a trade if the price comes not to our plan then this means our plan does not work out on this day and then we stay out of this pair and um, this is the reason I do these videos so um, I wish you a happy trading at the beginning of the new month and if you have Metagrid don't forget that you have to change the license code um, it's a new month starting you need a new license you find this new license on your personal license page of Metagrid you only have to copy the new license to one um, Metagrid chart like here on this chart I added my new license codes I saved it and then on all our uh, Metagrid charts you open um, you have copied the new license um, of course only if you have the free access access in it then it loads automatically the new license um, as I explain in the in the video for Metagrid for the installation video I don't want to confuse people who don't have Metagrid so goodbye for now until in 24 hours or better to say until um, Sunday night because we are going into weekend and then on Sunday night, I make the result of this pair and the new pre-market uh, trade of the day. Goodbye.